I can't do it for you. You have to believe. Because when you don't believe, God show me this other day, when you don't believe, you believing the benefits of the gospel. Yeah, the man that was sick died for you. Life died. And I'm trying to say it properly, the way God showed me. Imagine the elements that you have. Not living, not I wake up, not I'm living in a wheelchair. None of that. I'm talking about life. I'm talking about uh, not just surviving. I'm talking about thriving. Thriving. That's the element of the life that we're talking about. Thriving like heaven is thriving. To 100% came down and died so that you may just have life and life more abundantly. The life abundantly means that you can stand up and live. Out Matthew 17, 20. And then that it says if I just got the mustard seed Because he did the whole mustard tree If I took the mess of mustard seed with me And had the mustard seed of faith I can speak to the mountain And it will hear my voice And move out of my way Move out of my way How could I do that? My mouth hear me coming I don't even have to speak directly to it My mouth hear me coming to my house And it gets up and moves and jumps in the sea Oh no! She's home! I I saw it. God showed me. I saw it one day I came home from church and I was on Johnson Street. I came home and I, I saw mountains, right? They had on church clothes. And what they did was they had on church Easter clothes, like a little Easter hat and white gloves and white shoes with the, the white socks that got the cotton around the uh, ankles. Remember that? The, 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 the lace ruffles? My mountain picked up its skirt with lace at the bottom of it. Saw me, I came down street whispering. And I was whistling Dixie. <laughs> I was so excited because I had the word of God in me. I want you to think about my mountain. My mountain was thinking about people. You don't even think about the enemy, but the enemy's sweating you. <laughs> you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You have everything that he will never, ever have. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, 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 And then how dare you speak never over yourself. When you say that I, the Bible says it, but I can't do it, you're saying that I'll never have it. And when you say I'll never be able to speak, be not anxious to myself and then be free of anxiety, anxiety fills the gap. It comes in and fills the gap. Thank you. You just made open door for me. It's open season. I'm coming in. When you say I cannot do it, ah, then you the I can do Philippians 4.13 in your life Die right there You kill Christ again I can do all things through Christ That strengthens me Die every time you say I can't do it I can't do it I ain't got it in me I can't do it If I got, so if I ain't got it in me to do something I want it done I'm going to get somebody here that can get it done For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God Hear me Holy Spirit I need to do this in my house I want to see this done in my house I don't even know if these lights work That's in the hallway And I said, oh, Miss Amy came in here And she set this light up, lights up With the tool Exactly the way I kept trying to set it up But she did it and it got done Why? Because I told God I wanted to see it that way So I can put some lanterns underneath the curves Other things I want to make it look like a wedding In the hallway Right, there's a hallway There's a shotgun house So I'm walking down the hallway, down the hallway I want a visual of me Ha da 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 Walking down the aisle my Savior la, 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 la. Don't mess with me I said I want it and it will be so In Jesus name <laughs> I try not to do You know how we all fall off like that Cause we get desperate for what we're praying for And then we forget who we're praying to I need this thing I need life and life more abundantly Hallelujah to God Oh you can do it Jesus Hey at the cross At the cross that, that, That's how prayer sound And then what do we do in Jesus name <laughs> oh, we lose all the power when it comes to the man. When it comes to speaking the name of the man, that that, that gets the power. That, 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 it's at his name that, that, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I can't wait to, because I can't wait to the enemy of, so, until Satan go down on his kneecaps and bust his front out right then and there. I've been, I've been ruining him when he do it. <laughs> I'll take opportunity. Tell me, Caiaphas, bust their fronts right out. I was, at the, I was at the women's retreat. I got word that was soft and sweet, like Anita, Anita Trigger, she did it soft and sweet, right? She, she, she ministered. Soft and sweet. I'm Jamie. I don't do things soft and sweet. Oh! I'm just a different flavor. Mm-hmm. Most people come vanilla, I come chocolate. <laughs> it's good to get a vanilla, because when you get the vanilla, you see. So with her, I saw, right in her story, that I could not hide, that even when you're going through things, even as a child, God sees you and it comes soft and sweet soft and 
cheek with Jane. I'm trying to lay some whole spirit down. I ran up in this house. It was like I almost unplugged a gushing a fountain. Not just a fountain, but I see a hydrant. So a hydrant. Oh God, I was putting fires out. And there was no fires there. I'm not telling that the word of God is coming up, raising up in me. Because I get my praise on in the midst of what she's saying. Why? Because that part tells me I am redeemed. I can be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Rape don't stop me. Uh, 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 Beatings don't stop me. Abuse don't stop me. Cancer don't stop me. Uh, 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 issues with my body don't stop me. Sickness don't stop me. For the prayer of faith heals the sick. Uh, it doesn't matter what happens to me. Nothing stops me. For I will let nothing. And that's when I get in my house. Uh, separate me from the love of God. She was just proof. She just filled into me. And she filled in a gap. Uh, hallelujah, where anxiety tried to come in, right? And, uh, 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 and anxiety tried to come in that gap, and she just came in and, 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 and filled it and said, Oh God, no, 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 no. I told a friend, I said, You call that angst. Don't call that anxiety. I said, Stop giving anxiety credit for things in your life. I told you it's hard for people to be around me. Because the moment, the moment something was spoken to me, I know I've been dealing with sickness all night long. So the moment something was spoken to me, I said, the one thing I've learned, the one thing I've learned, because I was asked to speak on it, the one thing I've learned is that I never give credit to what's going on around me. I drop my eyes, pick up my teeth. If the cross is there, I can't give no credit for nothing that happened to me, to anxiety, insecurity, pride, nothing. Because I'm giving Satan the credit, and I'm saying that he lives with me, and the Bible does not say that. Even in its weak nature, that person said, when the enemy comes in, I'm my strong nature, I say, if he try to come in, if he try to come in, come on, I'll come, on, I'll come, on, I'll come on, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. The Bible says that. A standard against them. Because what, why, that, why that scripture can't be true? God just revealed this to me. We want to the word, I'm going to read you exactly what God gave me. We're going to talk about the beast. Why the scripture, when the enemy comes in, like a flood, comma, the spirit of the Lord will lift up the standard against him. Why, uh, why can't that can't be true? It's because you have time, Nisi. Forget the fact that the enemy can't get no, he can't no flood, he can't no drip. As a matter of fact, he's on his belly. And Genesis 3 put him on his belly. So for me to give him a flood, he would kill himself. The enemy is a stupid, but he's not that dumb. So if he comes in like a flood, he's going to overwhelm himself. He's going to flood himself out. He, he's stupid, but he ain't going to kill himself. He's been around for 5,000 years. He's, he's stupid. He's very stupid. He's very, very stupid. He's very, 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 to give up a place next to God. For what you want. Stupid. Very stupid. But he's not that stupid. He's not going to flood himself out. But God said just now, he gave me another reason why the scripture can't work. That's why you can't just read the Bible. You have to know the word of God. Then it comes out of God's mouth. You can do this. You can hear something being, to being said inside of my apartment building, but because there's three, three people, a big building, but there's three people also that live inside this building, three men, and they're gonna be having meetings. We don't like this woman. We gotta give her this woman. We don't like her. They're having meetings, right? But you can't say it's the word of Jamie da, 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 and quote it as the word of Jamie unless uh, it came out of my mouth. Da, da, da. So did that scripture come out of God's mouth? The scripture didn't come out of God's mouth when the enemy comes in. What you mean when the enemy comes in? And everything that Jesus came to do was to keep the enemy from coming in, to get him out. So why would you allow the enemy in? That's the first thing. But the second thing is, besides the fact that he can't handle no flood, that's the, that's the next thing. Because uh, the, the thing is, if, 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 if he could have flooded us out, he would have done it. God said he would not allow a flood to come onto the earth, but the enemy didn't promise that. If the enemy could, if the enemy had a flood or had a drip, he was going to drip you out. <laughs> What happened to you? I got dripped out by the enemy. <laughs> then he can't drip you out. He can't flood you out. He ain't got nothing. He got no water. He on his belly. He's stupid. I'm trying to convince y'all. I'm trying to make y'all understand. I got time to go to the word of the Bible and then spell out hooked on phonics work the, the Bible for you. And I'm, I'm telling y'all why the enemy cannot stand to you. The reason why he's still in the belly, God just revealed this to me, is because of the fact that he cannot stand to you. The Bible tells you to stand in Ephesians 6, 10, right? When he gives you the armor, God says, I finally haven't done all to stand, you stand. Now if I'm standing, somebody go lie. The enemy's on the ground. He's lying. He's the father of all lies. Right? But he's, he's lying on the ground before me. He don't stand against me. If I'm standing, you don't, you don't stand up. I push your front up. <laughs> it's just like that with Jamie. Oh, God. Besides that, that's, enough, that's the third reason why. That's good for the word. Besides that, besides that. God said you will never, ever, ever in your life. I don't care what you're asking God for or what you're going to do in your life and never, ever, ever have time. 
Ah, uh, sei lá. 